when you're clear on what you want to do, the universe is going to make it happen as long as you're clear. And I'm, I'm at the end of this week, I am crystal clear on what I want to do. Cheers. Cheers to you, y'all. We're doing something called Field Notes today. There's a couple things I want to kind of reflect on and review when it comes to this past week. I got my yuzu citrus with green tea, sparkling water. You got the baby over here. Topic number one is acknowledgement of my identity as a stay-at-home mom. In the past video, I said I had a hard time vocalizing that I was a stay-at-home mom because of how ambitious I am. That's just the reality of life right now, though. And I have to be, I have to be honest with myself about that. If we're talking about professions and what I'm currently doing, I'm currently a full-time mom. That is what majority of my hours in the day go towards. And being a full-time mom is work in itself. This week has truly opened up my eyes to where I want to evolve to. I will always be a mother, but I really want to be a full-time creator. This is something that I want to make my career. And when it comes to being an entrepreneur, I believe that content creation is my base and my foundation for my business endeavors. Because when you have an audience as a business owner, things will flow more smoothly. And that's what I believe. I genuinely want to give this content creation thing a go. And what that looks like to me is treating it as a full-time job. Because it is. As these years go on and we walk more into the future, content creation as a profession and as a career is not going to be as taboo. It's already starting not to be. Between now and it probably goes back further than 2015, but since then, content creation as a career has been on a steady, steady rise. And I really want to be part of the creator economy. I know I can do this. And being a stay-at-home mom is not gonna get in the way. And at first I was really trying to rebel against my truth of what my current full-time position is. And I think that has to come from, it's not like I grew up dreaming of being a stay-at-home mom. That wasn't my reality, you know? I knew I wanted to be a mother, but it's not like I had this whole picture painted out how I was gonna do it for real or what that would look like. If anything, it looked like me being a working mom, me being like, I'm a boss, I got my business, I got my baby, I got my man, and I do this. That's really what I had in my mind, if anything. So I just wanna say, whether you're a working mom, a stay-at-home mom, or whatever descriptor you put in front of your title as a mother, shout out to you and shout out to us because Boy, <laughs> motherhood is no joke. It's really no joke. As beautiful as it is, it's very challenging. And this was a very challenging week for me as I really kickstarted my content creator career through this challenge of daily vlogging and doing everything in my power to get a video up onto YouTube for the next 30 days every day. As I transition to being a full-time content creator, this will also continue to be an educational journey. I will have to be a student of this craft. And one of the things that I learned through my research last week is this notion of get 1% better with every upload. And I believe that came from Roberto Blake. He's really gonna be and continue to be because he already has been a guide for me along this journey of content creation, especially YouTube content creation. And that's what I'm doing by pushing myself to upload every day for the next 30 days. Going through the whole creation process daily really builds a muscle memory with this. And I already see myself getting better in terms of even just talking to the camera and being able to talk to you guys like, y'all are really my friend. There's someone on the other side of this and I'm, I'm not as scared or nervous to talk to you. I'm really starting to see 
myself get more comfortable with the skill of talking to the camera and I'm really grateful for that. So as I continue on my 30 day challenge, I'm looking forward to growth overall. The other thing I wanted to mention is coming from a standpoint of being a mom. So if you're not a mom, I hope you can find some level of relatability with this. But this week also showed me that transitioning to being a full-time content creator in the midst of being a full-time mom is going to be mentally challenging. She is four months old, and I feel like this past week was the most physically and mentally demanding week I've had since giving birth. And that has to do with me actively working towards something more than just being the best mom that I can be and more than sustaining who I am as an individual outside of momhood. I am literally at the start of my career. This is what I want my career to be, content creation. When it comes to the mental part of things, my emotions really skyrocketed at certain points because I'm under a lot of pressure. I mean, trying to post on YouTube every day? Come on. You know, but I, I really have a desire to accelerate the learning curve of YouTube content creation as much as I can and I genuinely feel trying to post every day for the past 30 days is going to do that for me. As we continue on with this, I'm going to have to really prioritize making sure my mental is good because that's the root and the foundation. That looks like leaning into practices like drinking my water, having some sort of morning routine. Every day is not going to look the same, and I acknowledge that. That's something that I learned this week, that I have to control my emotions and my days don't go how I plan because I'm a full-time mother and transitioning to being a full-time content creator. I'm in the beginning of things. When something is new, you have to have grace with yourself and allow for calibration to happen. You have to allow the meshing process to happen. And also a takeaway of this week, I'm not alone in that meshing process occurring. I'm not only responsible for that on my own. God is right here with me and he is moving mountains and making things happen so that I can do mom life and creator life at the same time. I can intertwine those two aspects of my life and maintain myself as an individual and still be a wife and be still be a friend and a daughter and everything else that I am. God will make it so because when you're clear on what you want to do, the universe is going to make it happen as long as you're clear. And I'm, I'm at the end of this week, I am crystal clear on what I want to do. Perhaps there's finite details that I still need to work out about what being a full-time content creator looks like for me, but I know this is the route that I want to go for myself, and I'm just going to be sure to really do the best I can to take care of myself. Transitioning to being a full-time content creator really is a nice parallel to my transition into being a full-time mom because I'm still transitioning into that as well. It's only been four months, and I was a person that didn't have a baby four months ago. Or really, let's just talk about before I was pregnant. Like, I was just Nala. I wasn't Nala the mom yet. And myself is still, there's some cal calibrating going on with that as well. I wish I had a different word, but I know you guys, you know what I mean. Like, things are trying to come together. So I'm really, I'm really feeling blessed to have the gift of motherhood. It's teaching me a lot. I've been able to draw parallels to my desire to be a full-time content creator from different learnings that I've had as a mom. And even right now is a milestone for me. If you see me, you're probably like, what is she doing with her arm? I have my daughter's right here in her stroller and she was tired and I'm like, you know, we're coming outside. I live in Georgia, so it gets hot during the day. It's early morning, let's come outside by the pool and I will just 
rock her in her car seat while I talk to the camera and she's falling asleep y'all she's falling asleep I'm doing I'm, I'm really multitasking here and I'm so proud of myself I'm so proud of myself and one of these days I recorded but the audio was was messed up I didn't have my audio my microphone on but I was saying to myself that I can do this I can do this. I repeated it over and over again. I could do this. And I was also saying, like, I believe in myself. And this week taught me that belief in yourself goes a long, long, long way. Belief in yourself goes a long way. I don't know how to describe what believing yourself feels like at this moment, but I really feel invincible in that. Though I had a hard week, and though I may experience more challenges coming my way, I can do this and I got this and I have a clear vision and I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna keep going. And I'm just thankful that God has put this on my path and put this on my heart to go after my desires regardless, no matter what. I'm gonna be tired like, oh man, a part of my emotions being so wonkers has to do with the lack of sleep that I've gotten over the past few days embarking on this content creation journey. Lack of sleep, lack of water, lack of nutrients, just a whole bunch of things. But though I had lack in those areas, my cup has been full in my passions. My cup has been full in the direction I wanna go with my life when it comes to my career and I'm just grateful. I wanna end this video on the tip of let's continue to believe in ourselves. And you may not be at a space where you believe in yourself yet, especially if you're someone who is a aspiring content creator. Trust me, I know the, the mental challenges that come into play, trying to do content creation full time and all the naysayers involved and even when your own mind is telling you negative things, when, when you have a negative thoughts when it comes to this but let me just tell you when you do believe in yourself and you get over that it takes time but good things come to those who wait and those who put some action behind their their desires and their dreams so let's continue to do that and i will see you all in the next video take care and remember to hydrate bye bye